Hey YouTube! Today I have a very fun and easy DIY tutorial for you guys. I've been really obsessed with jelly printing plates for a while. I've been watching videos on how to use it and I've been looking at art being made with different um, jelly printing plates that you make and then using them on art journal pages. So I've been really wanting one and eyeing one and um, I came up with my own kind of jelly printing plate and I'll show you that in a second. It's really fun and I'm going to probably invest in the real one soon, but for now I'm going to use the one I made. So um, there's two things I'd like to share with you. The first um, technique is super simple. It really isn't um, hard to do and anyone can do it. I'm just going to show you the background I made with it. So um, this is like my first sort of tip or trick and I'm going to show you um, how I made something like this. So what I noticed when jelly printing, um, you take your, your brayer and you put like daubs of paint on your page and then you just spread things around like this. And that on its own will make such an amazing background. So you don't even need a jelly printing plate to do that. So this tip is really cool because you can definitely get a jelly printing look to your page without actually having a jelly printer. And now I'm just going to show you an example of a page being made like this. So I'm going to show you really simple how to create that background I showed you. So you just start adding paint in different little um, spots on the sheet. And then with your brayer, <clears throat> you just swish. And that's how you make a really fun faux jelly print page. See, it's super easy and you have a background made in just a few seconds with a lot of dimension and mixtures of colors and even a little white spot here is still some texture. And if you want, you can always go in with a roller stamp or something else like a stencil or a stencil, a baby wipe. And you can just wipe off some of the background. See if this, hopefully this is going to show up. See? So here you have it, a very fun and easy way to make a background page for your art journaling or mixed media projects. So now I'm going to share with you guys my homemade jelly printing plates. All you're going to need are two things. Plastic bags, Ziploc bags, and packaging foam. This is what I created. Um, this is a smaller one I made. And in this one I have a standard Ziploc size, um, the good quality, so it's nice and sturdy. And inside is just packaging foam. This is a styrofoam and I just cut it into little pieces that would fit inside. And it adds, it acts as the, um, the cushion for, you know, when you're printing, gives it something to um, work on. And the plastic is where you print, you add the color to. So. And then for the bigger one, I used a bigger Ziploc bag, um, the good kind. And then these really thin, this is more of like a foam packaging. And this actually came in a box of plates. And I just gathered a bunch of them and layered them together inside the bag. And I had to trim them down because it wasn't going to fit properly. So yeah, this is just simple um, foam packaging that you can find in anything really. And, um, or you could probably buy some um, at a store or something, I'm not really sure. But if you can find this one, for the thicker one, because that was my original idea, that would work really well. But I just layered a lot of them and put them inside the bag. Um, now this is not going to be 100% the same. Obviously the original jelly plate um, is better, but for now, this literally did not cost, this did not cost me a, a cent. So it was really easy to make. Um, so let me just show you some patterns I made. So these are all the ones I played with. So this is a print I made with the big one. So this is an example of uh, a print that I made with the smaller one. So um, I just used different stencils and different paints and you can see the texture. It's really awesome. This is another print. This one was the first one I made. This one's not really one of my favorites but um, I love this one. I actually try to use a flower stencil. You can see them a little bit. It's very subtle. This one's one of my favorites. I did it with a smaller jelly plate. I used blue metallic paint and lavender and it just came out so pretty. This was honestly just 
adding paint and then put the paper on top and let go like this and this is what I came up with. So this is such an easy way for you guys to make patterns and make papers for your backgrounds or you can do whatever you want with these prints. So um, this one's really awesome too. Love this one as well. And then these are kind of uh, not really my thing but still practicing and still playing along. Yeah, so I think it works pretty well. The one thing is that it is a plastic bag so it does slide around and at the same time it does get some um, air inside. If you find one that fits properly like this then you can close it in and it won't, you won't have any air bubbles. But for this one I get a little bit of air so I just leave it open a bit so that the air can come out and then um, when I'm printing it does tend to move around. You can see it's like it's mushy but it's the best thing I could come up with. So now I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So all you do is just start adding some paint down. Um, let's do some teal. That was a lot. Um, some copy paper. And then you just go to town. Hold on to it. Mix it as much as you want. Like you can obviously mix it a bit more, but I kind of like the big spot, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Put your brayer aside. And then if you want it like this, you can leave it like that or just, you know, maybe some texture. I hope this works out. This is the first time using one of these roller sets. And then let me try this. Oops. Okay. Oh, that didn't work out. Oh, that's nice. Let's try a scallop. Oh, that's really cool. I don't know if you guys can tell but it can kind of created these really nice swig lines. So now the next thing you do is just take your copy sheet of paper and just press it down. What I do is um, I try to make more than one print with the same color combo. How cool is that? I mean, it's textured. The little swiggles didn't come out too well, but um, you can see the texture very cool so this is still good I just like to spray it with some water so that the paint isn't too dry and that it can make another print just make some more maybe it's gonna show a bit better now and then I'm gonna try adding some swiggles that's cool if you want, you can use your brayer to press down on the back sheet. But I like the paint that I have collected on the brayer, so I'm going to use that to make another print. So just add a lot of pressure. This one's cool. You guys can see that? Look, the um, the lines I made, and this is the date, the roller stamp. Very cool. Um, to clean it off, all I do is use a baby wipe. And then take a rag, dry it off, and you're good to go to the next one. Let me try and use the smaller one now.
Now let's take a look at some of the prints I just made. There's this one. This is the first one I made. You can see that the colors are a lot more intense compared to the second print. And I kind of like the second print more because it's more um, muted. The colors are a little bit brighter. But this is a really cool effect. It's nice and dry. It has some nice fun texture. There's this one. This one's adorable. You can see the um, rib cage a little bit faint in the background. And there's a lot of shimmer because of that metallic paint I used. So it kind of spread the shimmer throughout the whole sheet. This one's really pretty. This is the cleanup sheet. This is the negative, um, I just took the stencil and I put it on it. And then I just used my brayer and added the rest of the paint that was on it. So you can see a lot of shimmer. This one has a really cool textured circles. So you can see the um, effect of that. This one's really nice as well. You can see that metallic paint again right here. For this one, there was a lot of paint on the original print. So I just added a new sheet and then made two prints out of that. This one's really cool. There's still some white space, which um, this is perfect for our journaling because then you can add some more paint or whatever you want into the white space. And this one's really cool. I just added some water to the faux jelly plate and then crumpled up the paper and just started wiping the plate around and cleaning it off, cleaning off the paint. And this is what it came out with really fun a lot of texture if you guys decide to make your own faux jelly print plate i'd love to see your prints and what you create with them so thanks so much for watching if you guys enjoyed watching this video give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think thanks so much for watching and take care bye